What's up guys? It's Rantium here and today we are back in Skyrim. Uh, that's right you guys and Dosnap is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys welcome back and happy showcase day. So today, today you find me in lovely Riverwood, the town where everyone's hopes and dreams of Skyrim grew up and festered into the the 10 year long live, 10 year long lived fever dream that we all experience every time we play this game. Uh, but we're here in Riverwood taking a look at the Riverwood Cliff House. So the Riverwood Cliff House answers one simple question, and that is, how you one-up Feindall? Well, Feindall's house is literally right there, so I suppose you're actually one-upping him by being a level above him. So the Riverwood Cliff House is a home located here in Riverwood of all places, and is stressed, not lore-friendly. And I will definitely vouch for that. It's those that make me a very happy camper. So where is it on the map? It's right here, Riverwood Cliff House, right actually outside of Riverwood, right down the road from Whiterun. Obviously, everyone should know where Riverwood is at. Now, how exactly do you get up to this house? Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, there's no way to, there's there's a damn cliff right there. It's like one of those California foundations. It's just a frickin' square. Well, basically, you just gotta find the exit gate to Riverwood. And we'll go ahead and walk on up there. I think this is probably an inter- it's, it's not really my favorite part. I wish there was like an actual staircase you could walk up, but uh, I suppose a dirt path works as well. So there's a couple ways to get up there. There's one there, and then there's a tiny little one right here, and then there's also, I guess, the main one right here to get up onto, you know, the roof, like every house needs, an ability to get up onto the roof. But let's stop getting ahead of ourselves and let's break this down typical Riantium fashion, shall we? So, looks like it comes with a horse. Hello there, Grainy. Your new name shall be Jeff. Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that means yes. Alright, so we'll just leave Jeff there. But, uh, looks like outside here we have some nice death bells and some glowing mushrooms we can harvest and some Mora Tapanella. Everything like that. Good stuff to have. I do kind of wish that maybe we had our own planters out here so that we could plant what we needed. But still, kind of nice. We have already seen the fact that you can actually climb up onto the roof and grab yourself some rays by laying on the marker. Look at that. Now that's kind of nifty. Okay, I'm inside of myself. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, we don't want that. But, I mean, just look at the view you've got here. You can see all of Riverwood and you got this cool tree here that's creating petals out of nowhere that are floating down from space, I guess. And then you've got the view of the mountains and the, the trees off in the background. Oh, but Tita, look at this. Tita means look in, in Swedish, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I'm a fast boy. I can spin quite quickly. Very cool. I like having all these seating areas outside. Now, I do believe we've actually seen a home very similar to this one before, made by, I want to say, the same mod author, because I've seen a lot of the same assets used. But look, there's a smelter in Riverwood. <laughs> And it's amazing. No more having to lug all of your stuff all the way to white all the way to white run to get it done. But looks like we've got ourselves an ingredient barrel, a jar, no respawns. Uh-huh. Okay. Um also no, that does not actually do that much. It's because I was in god mode. But why does the black why does the bath cloth give you 271 armor? A ring that forbids magic? What is all of this garbage? What the freaking hell is all this? Okay, so a little bit cheaty, I'll say. Just a bit. Just a lot, actually. Okay, yeah, you can take a look in there if you want. Workbench right here. Got a soul gem container. A little chest right there. Tell me, is this full of soul gems? It certainly is. Would be nice if I could turn that candle on. That'd be kind of cool. Got yourself a grindstone, an anvil, tanning rack, as well as an arcane enchanter. Wow, all of your stuff, except for the alchemy lab, is right here. Kind of nice, kind of nifty to have that just kind of right there. And then look at this. I love this wraparound deck area. It looks so, so pretty. And so as we move across the front area here, it looks like we've got some cute little bonsai trees, little juniper trees, got a small pine. Oh, that's actually because of the Harvest Everything mod. I can harvest the ferns. That's kind of cool. And the canis root. Neat. So I assume... Hello there, little petal. I assume this is the front door to the actual home itself, but we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. Got yourself a woodcutter's axe and a wood chopping block, which is always great to see. Love all the hanging planters. Those are so pretty. I love all the planters outside here, too. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no way. I can spy on Feindall. <laughs> are those, like, freaking binoculars? That's amazing. 
Looks like we have some actual fertile soil things over here. And then a hammock. Look at this. What the hell is this? Oh, dude. That is the ultimate sun tanning spot. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. And you can actually sleep on it. Although I wish you could actually lay on it. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Oh, I love this outdoor area so freaking much. Are you kidding? So it looks like this area up here was the uh, the staircase that we missed. And then it comes down here to kind of a bottom area where you're actually growing a bunch of mushrooms. Which is kind of cool. Another staircase to lead it up here. And then this is kind of the under section of the area we were just at. Look at this. Ooh. What do we have back here? Oh. Oh, come on. Not one, but two outdoor water features. Looks like one is kind of a shower and the other one might be a hot tub. Oh, yes, baby. Activate wash your body. Oh, hell yeah. I got the blessing of Mara for washing my body. Hell yeah, look at that. I, I shower in steel plate armor. Listen, listen. The steel plate armor stays on during sex, okay? That's just how it is. But then look, we have another one over here. This is like the hot tub, though, I think. Yeah, I'd, I'd call this a hot tub. Look at this. I love it. And then look at this little gazebo right here to go ahead and eat dinner if you want. Oh, it's like a whole food prep area. Can we take the top off? Oh, we can take the top off of there. Oh, I love that feature so much. This has absolutely got to be from the same mod author that has done the other mod who has a lot of features just like this. You can turn the dang grills on. What is... Oh, you got the grill, you got the cooking pot, got an oven. Oh my god, that's so cool. Search honey, barrel salt. Oh my god. Barrel meat. I got a barrel of meat. Okay. And then a large sack right there. I wonder, is there a way to take... Yes, there is. There's one right here. I was going to say, there's got to be a way to take off the top right there. Now, if we just take the top off of everything... Oh, look at that. That opens it up so much. Oh, that looks so cool, dude. And I suppose we can probably take the top off of that one, too. Yes! Oh, my God. That opens up this area so much. And so nicely. Look at this. I love this area so much. Oh, and is there another one up here? Holy crap, how many bathtub slash hot tub features does a house need? The answer is not existent because there's never enough. Never, ever. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can have too many bathtubs, okay? Okay, glad we got that out of, uh, got that out of the way. So I haven't seen an alchemy lab, which is interesting, considering we've got all of the other stuff here. But considering there was a way to turn all the lights on downstairs, I wonder if I'm missing a button to turn on the lights here. Like I said, there had to have been a way to turn those lights on because there was one downstairs, so there had to be a way. Okay, I am a big fan of this already, and we haven't even gone inside of the damn house, which I suppose we should probably go ahead and do because this is kind of a mod house mod showcase. So, I suppose with that being said, welcome home to the Riverwood Cliff House. And here we are, inside of our kitchen area, it would seem. Looks like as soon as we walk in, we've got some boots off to the right-hand side and the left-hand side. We have a very large potion. <laughs> Search potion. Oh, well, look at that. You got yourself some body lotion for electrical in case you need to go run some wires or something. And you've got Propragonol B. Uh-huh. Is that so? we got some toothpaste, too. Look at that. Restores 300 points of health. Good lord. Soul gems. Got a chest right there. Armor chest, shield chest, weapon chest. That's a cool jar. Key hanger. Boot chest once again. And then a couple doors over here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and break it down in typical Riot Team fashion, shall we? Activate chain to turn on and off the lights, it seems. Super awesome. Look at that. You've got your own skylight up there, too. That's pretty cool. And I like the little dinner table right here. Look, it's got little tomatoes. That's super cute. Then looks like over here we have a nice big uh, meal prep area, a nice big sink with running water, it would seem, and uh, some tomatoes in there to go ahead and get those ready, get them nice and washed. Got a couple salmons. Cool. Oh, I love this so much. Nice dagger. Isn't that the Blade of Woe? <laughs> How do you cut your salmon? With the blood of my enemies. So inside we've got ourselves another cooking pot, another grill, and another oven. 
and a wheat bag, although that's not really a wheat bag, more so a wheat box and wheat barrel. Very cool, okay. So it looks like there's a downstairs area, a little uh, area for some weapon plaques. Ooh! Got yourself an armory inside of here with um, adjustable lights. Now that's kind of cool. I like that. I love the skylight too coming in. That's so pretty. Got some display cases that do indeed work. Always nice to see that they do indeed function. It is a little dark in here. I wish these emitted a bit more light. Although, let's see. Does it emit any more light like this? It does, actually. Okay, now wait. What exactly... What light does that turn on? Maybe just the center one? Huh. Okay. I think I would leave that one on if I wanted to display my stuff. Okay, that's really cool. I love all of the lighting in this house. Having all of these little levers and pull chains and stuff, super cool. Now, I assume this may be the Grand Master Bedroom. Look at this. Although, who knows? Lots and lots of potions there. Got yourself a nice big bed. Weapon racks right there. <clears throat> a nice little dinner table right here for you and your spouse. I could definitely dig this room. I like it a lot. Then the basement will check out here soon because there are quite a few other doors over here that need some love. So that turns on these little ones like that. And then pulling it turns on the big one somewhere. That's kind of cool. Now we've got two rooms here. One there and one here. Aha! Hello toilet. <laughs> I've seen this toilet before. Does this activate the bidet? Oh, it so does. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it so does. I love it. And then here's your soap cure disease. And here's more propaganol B. <laughs> Is that like Tylenol or something? And then another bathroom. Or another freaking bath slash pool room. Oh. Although I don't know how I feel about this one. It looks kind of dirty over there. So I'm going to jump in the green mutated water over here. Rather than anything else. Now what did that actually... Oh! Oh, uh -huh. and now that's interesting. Why does it make the bucket? Ah, uh, wash your body. Okay, so to use the uh, gotcha. Okay. Now that's kind of interesting. What does this button do? Aha! Uh -huh, it turns on the bubbles. <laughs> that's so cool. Does this do anything? It. She has the damn skeleton key. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Wait a second. Is that the actual skeleton key standing right there? I need that. What am I doing? I literally have toggle collision. Give me the skeleton key. <laughs> I now have the skeleton key. Download this home if you want the skeleton key. Holy shit, that's nice. Does this turn on bubbles too? Oh, it so does. So many bubbles. My bubbles. That's so cool. <laughs> I love this house. It's so not lore friendly, but I don't care. Is this a sauna? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> now, does that do anything, that debuff? No, okay. But still, that's so cool. And we have yet another door through here. Oh, this is the sauna. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Are you kidding? Oh, this is nifty, dude. I love this. I've not really seen a whole lot of saunas in other homes. I've seen them every now and again. But this is a huge one, my goodness. This is awesome. Let's see, let's go ahead and turn the water off there. Oh, I love this so, so much. And that does the bubbles, that's right, okay. And then this is the bathroom inside of here. Now let's take a look at what the basement looks like, because if I had to guess, I'm hoping that the basement has the alchemy lab, because I haven't seen an alchemy lab here. Oh my, okay, there's a whole lot of stuff down here. So your regular pantry and cellar area down here. Good to see, good to have. And then what do we have through here? Whoa. So this looks to be maybe like a study and library area. It's also a bedroom and it has a nice big couch right there. Oh, look at this. Scratch what I said before. This feels like the master bedroom. Oh, oh I love this. Activate chain. What exactly did that do? Suspicious cabinet? I think so. False back panel. Hello there. And let me guess, this leads out into Riverwood some... What the hell? 
Uh-huh. Okay, so for those of you who want to be a vampire, uh, and your family are vampires. Oh, special blue lighting. <laughs> I love this house, dude. Are you kidding me? Does this give blood? No, it gives mead. Yeah, get your get your endless supply of mead with your cup that you just pulled out of your ass. Cool, dude. Oh, I can dig this so much. Are you kidding me? It's a nice coffin. I'd sleep in that. <laughs> Alright, so if you have a bit of a suspicious past and you want to sleep in a uh, coffin, there you go. Now, any other suspicious cabinets? Yes. Hello, what are you? What the heck? Your own private bathroom? And then what do we have back here? Your own private bathroom. Oh, this is my new house. It's gotta be. This is absolutely my new house. Are you kidding me? I absolutely love this house. Oh. So if I activate the chain, does that start water somewhere? Aha, right there, yes. And then here, that turns on the lights. This turns on the bubbles, probably. Can chat? Yes, indeed. Oh my god, guys. Are you kidding me? It's even got a sliding door. If you've watched me for any period of time, you'll know that I absolutely love sliding doors. And I don't know why. Okay, yep. This is my new house. Screw Shell Blad Castle. This thing is amazing. Oh, there's another pull chain. Oh, wait, no. That's a key hanger. Never mind. I thought that was another pull chain. Okay, so that's your master bedroom down there, I'm convinced. Now, what else do we have down here? Wow, this place just keeps going. Holy crap! There's an alchemy lab right there with another arcane enchanter. Now, this is definitely guest bedroom area with um, lights as well. Oh, I love all the lighting in here, dude. Oh, all of the shrines down here. Got a big throne down here. Just in case you want to be king of your own or queen of your own thing. More guest bedrooms, possibly. Oh, I love the drapes. <gasps> oh my god, there's so many bedrooms to sleep in. So many toilets to take dumps in in the morning. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. I don't even know what to call all, the, all of these rooms. When you're so rich, you have so many rooms, you don't even know what to call them. This is Master Bedroom 3. That's Master Bedroom 1. Master Bedroom 2 is upstairs. Like, what the hell? How many beds do you need? I like having these scries here, too. That's kind of cool. So many dang pull chains. Forgive me if I miss one. Holy crap. So it looks like over here we've got all the standing stones. We've got ourselves the uh, Staff Enchanter. Soul gems right there. What goes in here? Yet another bathroom. Tell you what, I think the mod author might be a Sims player because holy good lord, there are bathrooms here for every single room. What do we have inside of here? Oh, this is totally a kid's bedroom. Yep. Totally a kid's bedroom. And look at this, it wraps around. Good lord, have you ever wanted to spoil your children with a room the size of a castle? Holy crap. I love this. Oh, I absolutely love this. Are you kidding? So many bookshelves and bookcases for the bookworms of Skyrim. So many bells and whistles. Okay. As far as bang for your buck goes, this is an incredible home. Hello, another suspicious false back panel with a training room. Are you sure this is where it should be? For, for Like, right next to the kids' room? Okay. This is so cool. Oh my god. All of the bells and whistles in this place are so amazing. I mean, you can't get much better than this. There are castles that don't even have this shit in Skyrim. Now granted, some of them have more, but still, this is so cool. So I gotta leave it up to you guys. What are you thinking down there in the comment section? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Would you use this home? Because I'm using this home. Pretty much every showcase for, like, weapons and armor, I'm pretty sure, is going to be in this home, as opposed to Shellblad Castle. Mainly because Shellblad Castle just doesn't have the same lighting as this home, and doesn't have the same lighting options that this home has. So let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking, what you guys are, you know, looking like, everything like that. Would you use this home? Let me know what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. But... 
Until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next showcase.